Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dr. House coming to you with another video review. This review is going to be on the uh, Comic Con 2013 Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Spark version. Uh, I saw this uh, online, and the figures look real, really cool. You know, they're the miniature sized figures. Um, so, you know, I just ordered them, just got them in the mail today. I got this and this guy right here the Piccolo. Um, uh, Comic Con version. I with this Piccolo actually completes my Dragon Ball Z collection of the figure arts, but unfortunately I won't be doing an unboxing just because this guy is extremely rare, hard to find, and for the most part I like keeping my figures inside the box. So you now I'll give you a quick video before I show the, the main stuff. I mean, there's plenty of uh, reviews on this guy online. If I happen to get uh, another one, I'll open the other guy up. For now, I'm gonna leave this guy in the box. And right, this is pretty cool. Just, just back here and see what what and see the little miniature figures. Alright, let's open this up. Yep, so my camera's a little weird today. Alright, cool. So alright. Alright, what we got here? Okay, this is pretty cool. I saw this in the video already. This is um, uh, in the video online. This is God Goku uh, during the fight um, during uh, uh, that movie that just came out. It's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, like he's actually shining. Let's, see, let's open this up. Open this bad boy up. These are my opening up just because you know these are for display purposes. You know, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we got God Goku. We got Super Saiyan Goku. Looks like the Super Saiyan Goku from the Freezer saga. And we got Super Saiyan Vegeta. Arm this guy up. You know these figures look real similar to the uh, figure figure arts figure, except just miniaturized. Okay, that's pretty cool. The articulation isn't bad. Yeah. Articulation besides the neck, neck is a little, you can't move too much. It's real similar to the figure arts. You can only get a 90 degree bend though, but that's okay. Arms, it, don't worry, it comes out part easy. Articulation isn't bad for the, for the figures. You know, you got, you know, Back, front. It comes with a display base, a pair, a pair of hands, I guess, so you can pose them. Only one head, though, so so not so bad. Display base on the guess you see it says Super Saiyan God. Dragon models on it. Like that. This is just a real breeze. I'm doing this. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I dig it. Okay. Let's open up Vegeta. Why not? Like all the display stands uh, has their names, so but you can see the paint on on these guys are a bit shinier. the The face actually looks bad for being such a small figure. It doesn't look this uh, this figure or anything. A little flat, but besides that, it's pretty pretty good. See this guy has to put boots on. I don't think it matters which side uh, goes where. Uh -huh. I'm pretty cool. You get, can he stand on his own? Yep, he just. Nope. Yeah, you can stand on his, on his own two feet. 
pretty cool. Display base, same thing as the other one. And so I got all the rough one. Should have probably opened this before doing the review. But whatever. More real this way. <laughs> Alright, this is the display piece. Display base. Uh, it says Super Saiyan Vegeta. You can have him doing cool pose. And make him have doing the big bang attack. He does have open open palm. That's pretty cool. And now, Super Saiyan Goku. This looks like this is more similar to the Goku from um, uh, the Freezer Saga when he first transformed Super Saiyan. The only okay, the only weird thing is, is the neck. You really can't move him too much. You know, just regular ball joint movement. But other than that, it's still not bad. You know. Not much mo movement in the shoulder with this Goku, though. It's pretty stiff in the shoulders, but whatever. Yeah. It's a pretty cool figure. I, I like it. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Just opening up the display bases off camera. You know, these, these figures look pretty cool just to have them display, have them looking cool. You know, probably put them by your computer desk or your workstation or whatever. You know, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, so once I saw this online, I hop on it. Yeah, okay. I know the, the Gundam, they have Gundams that um, um, have the same exact, as the te same type of figures, little small miniature figures, so I guess it can work up for that. For some reason this display base is giving me a hard time. You know what it is? The rip clothes in the back won't let him. Okay, he got that. Got it. There you have it. Pretty cool figures. I mean, the articulation look real good there. Their um, um, details look really, really good. I'm really impressed with the God Goku. Uh, his armor. His armor has that red glow that he had in the movie. His hair is a little pink, but still not too bad. You know, like the rest are pretty cool. I wish they gave you maybe Piccolo or Gohan instead of God Goku, but hey, I'll take it. It's pretty cool. You know, as far as the box. Really doesn't have much. Just Comic Con, you know, Comic Con San Diego logo. Not really much in here. Distributed by Bluefin. Comes with like a little instruction sheet, but obviously I didn't even read it because it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's pretty cool. Now I guess they're gonna have. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna have more than just these three. And um, uh, it'll be pretty cool having nice, like a, a nice little mini collection of these little figures. Anyway, this is Dr. Siles coming to you. Any um, uh, questions or requests to do a more depth review of, of a particular one, just let me know and I'll do it. And um, I'll see you guys next time.